What's up guys? Marcus here, Everything Tenere. And right now it's autumn, getting cold, getting dark, especially here in the Nordics or Sweden or anywhere up north. It's getting really dark and soon it's gonna be daylight maybe for a couple of hours each day. And I want to ride anyway. So i am decided to winterize my bike and uh, in those steps to winterize it and uh, make it rideable in the winter we need to add a few things to the bike so today we're going to look at a auxiliary light or a lead ramp that i will install on my bike uh, i really looked around for a lot of different options and they can be very very expensive if you want to really have the the good shit, so to speak. So I went for this. It's a tiny one. It's 2,500 lumens. So it's enough. It throws about 300 something meters. Uh, and I went for this size because it's 18 centimeters from this side to this side. And it's only 40 millimeters uh, tall. And you have these attachment brackets, which you can pretty much, you know, put whatever you want in, in this direction on both sides. You also have other like L brackets, so you can actually put a bracket on the side of the, of the LED ramp here as well. I know that the electrical things or uh, attaching an accelerator light, and this is going to be a high beam only light. Uh, can be a bit tricky if you don't know uh, your electricity uh, or however to connect it. Uh, and we know that some people had had issues connecting uh, added lights to their bikes, depending on how they do it and if it's going to be running lights or not. But uh, I checked it out. I also checked the wiring diagrams. Uh, you know, best scenario you could just connect this to the to the high beam out power out from the bike uh, as it's only like 1.16 amps um, but it's a lot of trickery going on in the headlight of the Tenri 700 so it's gonna be a no-go so I need to purchase a relay and some more cabling and just connect the relay to the to the high beam on uh, wire so to speak but yeah, that's it. Let's uh, check how it looks on the bike. All right, guys, we're at the bike. So here's the lead ramp and uh, here's the bottom triple clamp. And we have two attachment points here. I think it's uh, M6 bolts or, or screw holes uh, with threaded M6. Ideal would be to just bolt this sucker up using the, the brackets that we have, but I thought this one would fit, fit in between the the forks, but it does not. And I'm about eight millimeters shy of those holes. And I need to make a bracket that it comes out a little bit. And uh, I had a really nice piece of alumi aluminum, four millimeters thick, that I thought I could use. And I just can't find it. So that sucks. So I would do a temperate template and uh, mock it up there, do the cables and everything. And then I'll uh, make my uh, final little bracket to seat the lead ramp. So now we're gonna remove the right side cover and we're gonna look at the power and all the cabling that we have there. There's a little bit special, uh, Pretty much everything for, for the high beam in the headlamp on the T7 is controlled by a grounding wire or a negative, I mean. Uh, so the signal or what goes through the controls here on the steering or the handlebars is actually just letting negative go through. So it's not a, a positive signal when you, you press the the pass 
and the pass button or flick it up to high beam. So that makes things a little bit more complicated, but not too much, uh, as long as you know which cable to, to tie into and uh, what to do. So uh, yeah, let's get to it. So guys, right side of the bike, here we have the harness that goes up to the headlight. And uh, you have a cable here that is yellow. There are several yellow cables, but it's one that it's full yellow. And uh, that's the one uh, that goes from the, the switches on the handlebars, uh, activating the high beam. So that one you want to connect to your relay. <clears throat> and the other side of the relay, so for the switching on the relay, uh, this one will be minus, and then you will have to put, put uh, the other side on the relay to plus. And of course, uh, plus and minus for the power to to the to the headlights or or the LED ramp that is I will show you in a minute but uh, I will redo some connections as well. So guys, I've been working on with the cables and everything, and uh, finally all the cabling is done. It's just the mounting bracket that I need to put in. So what I ended up doing is the power port that is on the right side of the bike, uh, the Yamaha dealer connected the heated grips on it and not on the power port on the left side. So I actually put one of these water safe connectors from the power port here. Uh, it's uh, two plus and one minus. I then routed that through the bike to the other side so of course you can take it from the battery straight away but yeah i took it from from uh, from the power port and now we're on on the the right side of our bike you have the big black connector here in this cable harness here you have a yellow cable so this yellow cable is like the trigger cable for for the high beam so that is what you could call a minus or ground. So everything goes on, you know, enabling ground or not on the handlebars on the switch. Uh, that then triggers the, the high beam to go off in your headlight. So, so that is the trigger cable that you want to run to your relay. So the lighting is a bit poor here. I don't know if you can switch on lighting or if I need to, uh, Bring out my handy flashlight. Yeah. So here we go. So here you can see my relay. It's a relay with a built-in fuse on it. So I have a seven amp fuse on it at the moment. And uh, I will put up a little schedule here, how or a wiring diagram, how you two should connect it. You can see my cables going here from the other side, nice and tight. This is uh, the attachment cable for, for my LED um, high beam. I also unhooked this little cable here because I ordered a, a USB uh, charger <clears throat> with a voltmeter built in. So I will actually connect that to this. This is for the for that port on, on the right side, if you want to connect anything there. And that's pretty much it. I, I already tested it, so I know that it works. And uh, we will just go out and run it a bit more. So hang on. Alright guys, let's head out for a test ride and test out the new high beam. You can see here it's really slim, slim underneath here. It clears everything when they're fully turning and everything. I might need to adjust the angle, but we will see. So let's uh, get rolling. 
So here is a perfect place. So we had some signs in the far distance about 150 meters or something and uh, regular light then we turn on the high beam and I think I need to lower it a bit maybe uh, but I need to park and show you guys when I cover cover the lead ramp and uh, only use the bike satellite or high beam so one thing I forgot so big props to uh, MVDBR uh, Enduro for putting up a video connecting a high beam to his bike because he had a smart little wiring diagram that he uh, got out of a forum how to connect and be able to turn off the turn on the high beam on the handlebars without having an added switch